Good morning, students. Today we are going to take up the second part of the industries, and that will include information technology, sugar industry, shipbuilding, fishing, and automobile industry. Now this module will be slightly longer because we are taking up several industries in this one module. So let us begin with the information technology industry. Now the IT industry is a global industry and the term information technology refers to the science which uses software and computers for the management of information. It helps us to process, protect, secure, store, receive and retrieve information. The industries that are associated with IT include the computer hardware, software, electronics, internet and telecom, engineering and e-commerce. Now the IT industry has revolutionized the world of knowledge. This you can already see because of the virtual classrooms which have come into existence and it is using several learning tools which have been de designed specially for children. Due to the COVID-19 problem, online learning have also become a major success story. We all have become very familiar with online learning and it has all been done due to the IT industry. That is why this IT industry has actually revolutionized the world of knowledge. Uh, the main factors influencing the location of the IT industries are resource availability, cost and infrastructure. So these are the three major factors which help the location of the IT industry. The major hubs of the IT industry are the Silicon Valley in California and in India we have Bangalore where this city is also known as the Silic Silicon Valley of India. Let us now move to another major industry and that is the sugar industry. Now we all know that sugar is an essential ingredient in the food and beverage industry. It is used in the production of sweets, confectionery, baking products and soft drinks. Sugar is obtained from two sources. Sugarcane grows very well in the tropical countries and in the temperate region, sugar beet grows very well and over there sugar is obtained from sugar beet. The juice from the sugar cane or sugar beet is squeezed out and processed into raw sugar which is then refined into a range of sugar. These are the different types of sugar which is available. Now this is the simple white sugar which we use every day. Next is the brown sugar. Now it is the sucrose sugar and is slightly moist as it contains about 10% of molasses. Castor sugar is powdered sugar and is generally used for icing of cakes. Sugar syrup is the solution or dissolved sugar which is used for making sweets. Triacle which is 
used for sweetening or is used as a sweetener. It is uncrystallized syrup made during the refining of sugar. It is very thick and sticky. There are various byproducts obtained from the sugar industry which are useful in a number of ways. The first being bagasse. This is the fibrous residue of sugarcane which is used many a times as a manure. Boiler ash is a residue from the sugar industry and is used in agricultural fields as it is rich in potash. Filter mud, however, it is a waste from the sugar industry and managing it is a major problem, especially near and around the sugar industry. This is known as press mud, is a high quality manure and is used to improve agriculture. Molasses is a thick dark brown juice obtained from raw sugar during the refining process. Ethanol. It is a renewable fuel obtained from sugarcane biomass. The major sugarcane producing countries in the world are Brazil, India, China, Thailand, Pakistan, Mexico, Colombia, Indonesia, the Philippines and the USA. In India, the sugarcane industry is mostly concentrated in the states of Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. Bihar and Punjab are also major producers but their production of sugarcane is pretty less compared to these states. Let's now move to the next important industry and that is the shipbuilding industry. Now shipbuilding is an activity which has had its origin since the prehistoric period. The ancient civilizations have evidences of shipbuilding and dockyards because during ancient times most of the trade was carried on through water. So shipbuilding has been in use since a very very long time. A shipyard is a place where ships are built. Post-industrial revolution, the design and constructions of ships saw a major change and after Second World War, shipbuilding became a very important industry. China, South Korea and Japan are the three leaders in shipbuilding in the world. In India, at present, there are four major centers of shipbuilding, namely Vizag, Tochi, Kolkata and Mumbai. The fishing industry. Now this fishing industry is also one of the oldest human occupations and this industry provides vital source of food to many people. The fishing industry includes catching, processing and selling of fish and fish products. There are broadly two types of fishing. Inland fishing, which is practiced in streams, rivers, lakes, ponds, paddy fields, where fresh water fishes are caught. The common varieties include trout, 
sturgeon, carp and other related species. Marine fishing is practiced in the seas and ocean where saltwater fish are caught. The common varieties include cod, herring, halibut, sardines and mackerel. Although fishing both inland and marine is carried out in all parts of the world, the most important fishing grounds where large-scale commercial fishing industry is concentrated are the cool waters of the high latitudes. Here you can see that these are the areas where fishing is a very important activity. Fishing especially in the marine waters, that is in the seas and oceans, both in the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere, where the cool waters help in attracting a lot of fishes. And it is mainly due to certain reasons. The concentrations of fishes occur where there is a rich supply of planktons. Now, planktons are the main source of food for fishes and they are mostly found where there are cold currents. So, here we have cold currents in the eastern part and western part of uh, South America. Similarly, here we have the Labrador current in the eastern part of Canada. Now, all these areas bring in a lot of plankton. Now, these plankton are a source of attraction for fishes. That is why all these areas have lots of important fishing grounds. Similarly, places in eastern part of Asia near Japan also has a cold current which brings in lots of plankton with it, which again attracts fishes and that helps the countries over here, especially Japan, Korea, China, to become important fishing countries of the world. The indented coastline provide ideal sites of fishing ports. Indented means those coastlines which are broken. They help in anchoring of fishes and therefore they become ideal sites for fishing. Apart from that, all these areas have got large population which provides labor and also a very distinct market for fish. Here we can see in the world that China is the leading producer in the global market. Besides this, India, Indonesia, USA, Japan, Peru are also important fishing nations. In India, the major fishing producing states are Kerala, Karnatak, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, Orissa, Goa and Tamil Nadu. Next we move on to another very important industry and that is the automobile industry. Now the automobile industry includes designing, manufacturing and marketing of various types of motor vehicles for transport of people and goods. These include trucks, buses, cars, motorcycles, scooters, sports and multi-utility vehicles. The automobile industry began in USA in 1890s 
and was the leading producer and manufacturer for almost one century. However, then it was overtaken by Japan. But in the present scenario, China holds the top position in automobile production with nearly 40% of its share in the automotive market, followed by Germany, Japan, America, Korea, and French brands. The premier automobile making companies in the world are Toyota, Volkswagen, Hyundai, General Motors, Ford. India is also not far behind. Several cities like Delhi, Gurgaon, Mumbai, Pune, Jamshedpur, Chennai, Bangalore, and Hyderabad are important automobile making and manufacturing units of India. Here we can see an Indian car manufacturing plant in Gurugram. So in this module, we learned in detail about several industries. I hope you enjoyed the video. So that is what we have enough time for today. Thank you.